uh, 5.53. Thanks for joining us. It's the time for the roundtable. We're going to turn our attention to Pink in the Rink. And to help us do that, we have Aaron Garfat of the Peterborough Pete. He is uh, advertising, marketing, and sales. We have oh, Eric Cornell. He is of the Peterborough Pete's number 10 right winger. Very nice. Anita Record is from the Canadian Cancer Society, Peterborough, and District Community Office. Oh. If I may say, Aaron, this pink jersey has some attitude. This is the first time we've had a chance to see it all complete. Very exciting. Thanks. It's uh, it's an exciting jersey for us with the, the people's names that are incorporated into it and just the, I guess, the passion that uh, some of our fans put into it and the, the number of names. There's 194 total names in the jersey. Um, some players' families, some just uh, alumni of ours, but others just fans that have uh, embraced the cause and, and took the opportunity to put a, a family member's name on the jersey that's going to be there for the rest of their lives. So the names that we see, or the pink in the rink, of course, benefits the Canadian Cancer Society. And folks have had a chance since, uh, well, leading up until December, to have a name or the name of somebody special on the on the jerseys. What were the what was the reaction like? What do people? Um, feel, how do the people feel connected to this uh, to this kind of jersey? Uh, I mean, it, it's uh, it was an instant success. I think. I mean, we had the uh, a press conference on a Tuesday to announce it. Yes. And we had two weeks exactly to sell the names and in that time wow. we sold 194 names well, at, 20, at $20 a name. So. Eric, um, uh, have you played in a pink of the ring game with the Beats? Yeah, this will be my third game. So la last last year's was an awesome game. It was so much fun. Of course, that was with uh, with Courtney Drews and John Drews as well, Pete's alumni. Well, what's it like putting on a, a different jersey this year, which actually has the names? Like you can look at this jersey and <coughs> see these names. Do you feel a little weight on your shoulders there? Yeah, I think for us players, it's a little bit more special because uh, a lot of us have names on the jerseys who uh, we have a connection to. I mean, my, both my grandparents are on here, so. Um, I think when we throw the jerseys on on Saturday night, it's going to be a little bit more than just a regular game. We're going to go and play hard for, for the people who are on this jersey. That's fantastic. Anita, you've uh, put together some pretty exciting things for Saturday, including a very special honorary chair with Dan O'Toole returning Dan to Peterborough. Dan hometown guy. Just amazing that he's going to come back to Peterborough just for this game. He's flying in just for our game. And, and everyone knows Dan O'Toole, and we also know how big his heart is. So we're really, really glad to have him. And it'll be exciting uh, to, to have him at the game, and everyone will be able to see him. It'll be great. And almost excited, as exciting to have David Kosky there, too. <gasps> David, how could we forget David? <laughs> He's yeah. picking up Dan O'Toole from the airport That's and right. dropping Plus him off. Hard. And then taking, yeah, taking him back to the airport, too. So. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, Canadian uh, cancer.ca slash Danny's donations are, is one of the many ways people can support this uh, cause. What are some of the key, uh, the key priorities for the Peterborough District of the Canadian Cancer Society, Anita? Uh, our priorities for our organization, obviously, is to, is to help people in our community community living with cancer. We do that a lot of different ways. Um, locally we have our transportation program which is one of the biggest programs in our province. Uh, we, our drivers drive about a million kilometers a year driving wow. people in our community to cancer. We have peer support, we have education, prevention and of course there's always research. Now even though research isn't done in our community, obviously phys or financially it's not a viable option but still it helps every single person in our community. We do lots. There's lots. So <laughs> drop in and see us. Absolutely. Now, Aaron, uh, from a marketing standpoint, um, for someone who has tickets or you know maybe can get a couple when they're going to go to the game on Saturday, what can they expect? Because there, there's even stuff happening after the game mm -hmm. as well, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the whole night is very exciting. I mean, for us as a team, Eric touched on it from a player's side, but from a, an organization side, it's, uh, it's a partnership that we're, we're very proud of. Um, one that this is our sixth year with, but throughout the night prior to the game, fans can purchase t-shirts like the ones that uh, Anita and I are wearing today uh, for $10. They also have a, for $25, you can get a t-shirt and a ticket combination uh, where $4 from the ticket sale also goes back to the cause. Um, if they've already purchased their t-shirt or don't want to get a t-shirt, but still want to come to the game, they can mention the, the promotional code PINK at the box office, uh, get a, a $16 regular bowl ticket, and $4 of that 16 will go back to the Cancer Society. Uh, there'll be a bucket pass throughout the game, yep. um, a silent auction going on in the lobby, uh, a chuck a ball or puck contest in the second intermission sponsored by Russell Toyota where they'll throw uh, 
stuffed pucks and balls uh, through the sunroof for a, a large <laughs> prize. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it all culminates at the end of the night with the, the live auction from Russell's Auctioneers uh, for the players' game-worn jerseys that uh, is really sort of the most exciting part of the evening to see um, sort of whose jerseys go for the most. And it's, <laughs> it's surprising every year. It's not, uh, it's not always the star player that goes for the most money. It's uh, the, just a random connection that somebody has to the last name or that number or just this year it's going to be really interesting because of all the extra names that are on the jersey yeah. um, so we're, the, the auction is something we're really looking forward to this year and uh, i'm going to be emceeing the auction are there any tough names out there that i have to figure out beforehand you might want to work on artem vladimirov Okay, Artem Vladimirov, I'm waiting for <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> You know, this, this whole event is such a dynamic way to get the, one of the widest ranges of people, viewers, fans, involved in this one singular focus. Right from the players to young fans, right through to, as you say, to, to the grandparents and loyal, loyal fans of the Pete's organization. It's really a very special thing to see so many elements come together in one night. And, and who's the poor team that has to play against the Pizza? Oh, Saturday? such uh, a drag. For this them. year it's the Windsor Spitfire. Oh, so. Sorry, so, sorry, Windsor. Well, well what's going to happen to Windsor on Saturday? <laughs> well, hopefully not what happened to Oshawa last year. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping it's a long drive home to Windsor. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it will be. And it was a long drive home to Oshawa last year. That was a, an amazing game. And you know, there's just there's so much more energy and so much more spirit in this building during Pink the Rank. You guys have put together a fantastic, fantastic event. And uh, I'm excited to be a part of it. I think everyone in Peterborough is excited to be a part of it. It's an event that, as an organization, we look forward to every year. Um, All right. Just, it's, it's an outstanding cause and an outstanding night. We thank Aaron Gorfat. Eric Cornell and Anita Record for joining us here. Pink on the Rink is Saturday night at the Peterborough Memorial Center.